Hello and welcome. Well, I wanted to wish you a blessed Resurrection Day. And I'm wearing black because as we're looking forward to the cross, it's a time of mourning. And yet, it's a, it's a wonderful celebration. Think about this. Jesus died. He was buried and he rose again. He is alive. And he died for you and for me because he loves you. Hello and welcome. I'm Barbara Hitching. This is Transformative Tuesday. And I am so grateful that you're joining me. And I love this time of the year. I said it last week. I love this time of the year, the beginning of spring when life begins to come afresh and out of death. There's life. Have you ever thought about seeds? They, you put them in the ground. Doesn't matter what kind, beans, carrots, peas, and they have to die before they can bring forth life. If they stay a seed, nothing will happen. Jesus died for you and me. Think about that. So what do you do to celebrate Resurrection Day? What do you do special as you look forward to the death of Christ at Calvary, a horrendous day, a day of great darkness, a day when, as he was hanging there on the cross, God made darkness, physical darkness, descend on the earth because of the horrible suffering Jesus was enduring. We've been going through a lot of darkness over these last days, months, and year, every time you turn on the news, there's something sad and tragic happening. Darkness is increasing and it's covering the earth. And darkness is going to carry on increasing until the day of Jesus Christ. What do you do to look forward to the day of the resurrection of Christ. How do you anticipate the coming of the Son of God to lift you out of the darkness and carry you up into his glorious light? I love to celebrate Passover. It is just an incredible time. And my daughter and I did celebrate it this weekend. And... It was beautiful. It was very quiet and restful. And our eyes for three hours were focused on the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You know, Jesus said, except a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it will bring forth fruit. And then he said these words, I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. So even as Moses held the serpent, the brass serpent up on the pole in the wilderness for the people to look to, and find healing and deliverance to be rescued, redeemed, saved from death, Jesus Christ was lifted up. And as we look to him and recognize he is the Christ, he is the Messiah, the Son of the Most High God, as we look to him, our sins will be forgiven. And we will be redeemed. We will re be redeemed from the curse of the law of sin and death. 
the darkness will begin to lift as his light illuminates our hearts. I love these words that Jesus said to Martha. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? It is really incredible that no matter what darkness you are going through, Jesus is the light. And because he died, was buried, and rose again, if you look to him, he will dwell in your heart. Can you imagine that God will seal your heart with his Holy Spirit, as you acknowledge Jesus is the Christ and look to him for salvation, look to him for redemption. And as we do that, God begins to break down the darkness. There is always hope where Jesus is. And if he's inside, no one can take your hope from you. I love the passage in Isaiah 53 where the Lord, the Lord Jesus, was lifted up on Calvary. Let me just quick find it. And it's a prophecy of the coming of the Lord. He is despised and rejected of men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. When he was lifted up on Calvary, he was not being esteemed. Though he was God, he was despised and rejected. Surely he has borne your griefs and carried your sorrows. Have you come to the Christ? Have you acknowledged him as your Lord and Savior? If you haven't, I urge you to do so because there's no way through the darkness except you have light. And Jesus is the only light of the world that leads us out of darkness into God's glorious light, bringing peace in our heart with God. I encourage you to read Isaiah 53 this week as you ponder and think about Calvary. Think about Jesus being buried, laid in that tomb, and as you look forward to Resurrection Sunday, where Christ arose, out of death comes life. Jesus had to die to conquer death and darkness. And because he died, you and I can live. I love the song, Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow. Because He Lives, All Fear Is Gone. If you have fear in your heart today, I encourage you, look to Christ. Perfect love casts out fear because fear has torment. And fear comes from darkness. Does Jesus hold your future? I pray he does. Father, I thank you that you love us and that you have made provision for us to come to know you as our Lord and Savior. You made provision that we could be born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed by the word of God who lives and abides forever. 
And I just speak peace into each person that's listening. Ask that you will quiet their hearts and their minds. That they might know that you love them. That light is greater than darkness. That you are the Redeemer. And you have redeemed us not with corruptible things like silver, silver and gold, but you redeemed us with your precious blood, the blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. So, Father, I just pray your blessing on each person that is listening, that they may come to know you, who to know is life eternal, that light, might dwell in their hearts and the day will come when they meet you face to face i ask in jesus name so god bless you thank you for listening and again may you have a blessed resurrection day and over this week celebrate god's love for you take care bye bye